Hi, I'm Nikki from Homemadeville.com and today I want to show you how I turned a simple step stool that was handmade into the beautiful little piece of furniture that you see here. It all started when my mother-in-law gave me a little step stool that she found at a yard sale. The price tag I think was two dollars so I'm sure she got it for less. And it was really cute but it was just plain. And so I decided that it needed a little more decoration in order to go in my bathroom. So I started by painting the step stool into this uh, little tan kind of color. Um, it was some leftover paint that I had from another project. So I went ahead and used that. Then I had some amazing little scrapbook papers that were given to me by Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic. And it's quite a little collection. You can see all kinds of um, patterns and colors. Um, they're really cool. They have some kind of muted blues and greens, and then they have some more vibrant pinks and yellows, and even some tans. So there were plenty of colors and patterns to choose from. I kind of liked the way these had the little, almost like arrows on them, so that's what I finally decided on. And this color here is actually in my bathroom, so it was perfect. I cut the pieces to size. So I took the scrapbook paper, I cut it to the sizes I needed. I needed little small strips for each side here, and then I needed one big strip to put in the center. And so I did that for both ledges, and then I cut a little ribbon up for the very top just to give it a little extra layer. So once I had that cut to size and everything was exactly how I needed it, then I took just the classic original Mod Podge, and I think I used a matte finish, and Mod Podge that onto each individual ledge. I did use the brayer. I think it's very important to use the brayer because that keeps it from bubbling up underneath the paper. That smooths out all that air so you don't have bubbles as it dries. So I Mod Podged it down, I let it dry for the 20 minutes um, that it says on the, or on the Mod Podge bottle, and then I went back over it with a hard coat Mod Podge. Now the reason I use the hard coat Mod Podge is because I discovered through research that's the best one for furniture because it keeps from scratching and it um, will wear a lot longer if it's something that's like a piece of furniture. So I use that on the top, a couple layers is really all that you need, and then you're done. For the sides, I did add these little flags, and I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll actually try to lift it out so you can see it a little bit better. I took those little flags that were actually part of the Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic papers. They actually come like the scrap of paper. It comes in a paper just like this, only you kind of fold it around and you can peel the little flags off. And once you do, they look like this. Now I was afraid this part would be complicated, getting all those little flags to lay flat and to stick um, to the sides of the step stool, but actually it went amazingly well for me. I did the same thing with it that I did with the other. I Mod Podged it down first, and then I put the hard coat layer over the top. So the project actually turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. It was very simple and I'm really excited to put it in my new bathroom. So thanks so much for stopping by. If you want to get more detail on how I made the project, please feel free to check out the website homemadeville.com and you'll find step-by-step -step instructions with pictures that go for each step of what I did. Thanks so much and I hope you have a fabulous day.